Good morning. Um, this morning I've been for a walk and seen pelicans and herons and um, I think a golden eagle being attacked. Um, it could have been a hawk. That would be more common, but it was very dark. So it looked maybe like a golden eagle or, or um, it wasn't black. So I don't think it was a raven. Anyway, um, I'm lucky to be able to walk around in a neighborhood that is filled with um, migrating birds. I thoroughly enjoy it, um, but I probably won't do um, drawings of them. I don't know why. Uh, it would seem logical to do drawings of these gorgeous creatures, but um, what I'm inspired to do drawings of are usually things m more likely in my head. And um, and to that extent, I, I choose palettes, really, that are more in my head than what I see. Um, out here in the... Um, west of the United States, um, the sun is particularly intense. Um, I live at a little over a mile high and the air is thin and so the palette, the natural palette that I live in, um, kind of reminds me more of watercolor than anything else and when I'm doing art I choose um, more saturation and, um, you know, if you look, it's white all the time, so I tend to avoid white. I use a gold or an orange for um, highlights often, and um, I avoid black shadows because um, it irritates me, and I tend to use more blue for those kinds of things. So um, it definitely affects the outcome of my paintings, which um, might have an almost uh, cartoonish kind of look to them, um, sans the black outlines. Um, it can't be helped. <laughs> um, when I lived in the Pacific Northwest, I really enjoyed the intensity of color that so much moisture and um, oxygen gave to my eyes. I don't, I don't know what it was, but when I did art, I seemed to have picked all very um, pastel-y, white-influenced colors. So I really think it is, um, it can be largely attributed to the light that I live in and a desire for something that I don't see um, rather than something that I do. So much of art um, is a battle between awareness of what I am looking at and what I see and hear in, inside. Um, and that conflict um, comes out on a piece of paper for me with uh, really smushy oil pastels.